Well, hello, friends. Coach Bob with you, and welcome to yet another Worship on Wheels. Man, do y'all remember the movie? I think it was Anger Management. Had uh, had Adam Sandler and uh, Jack Nicholson in it. Doing. I need you to unfluster. And they had that silly song, you know. I feel pretty. We will proceed when you are centered. I'm centered. I'm centered. I'm centered. Oh, so pretty. We're going to sing a song. I feel pretty and witty and gay. Shut your pie hole. We're working here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember it. <laughs> so let's read this Bible verse and see what that nonsense has to do with this lesson. All right. So our Bible verse for today is 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 16. And it says this. So we do not lose heart, though our outer self is wasting away. Our inner self is being renewed day by day. All right, so welcome back. Yeah, you know, it's funny. Um, I feel pretty inside, y'all. I feel pretty. I got, like, you know, rainbows coming out of my jacket. If I open it up, oh, there's a little light coming out. You know, that's just how it is. And, and it's funny. That is, uh, that's how we're supposed to feel. We're supposed to feel renewed in here. You know, every day, get a little more renewed, refreshed, revived, revigorated. And, you know, we... We talked last week about how joy is delivered daily, and that sometimes joy is is just a piece about you. You know, someone also sent me a link. By the way, thank you for the link to the Matthew McConaughey speech. I'll try to leave a leave a link to that in the description below. Uh, it was really good, where he talks about the difference between happiness and joy. Actually, very very well worth listening to. I really like that speech. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, but so. You know, we're withering away outside. The old shell is starting to look a little more haggard. The hair's falling out a little bit. You get the wrinkle in the brow. You get a toothache because your old teethus ain't what they used to be. And then all of a sudden, you're all down and depressed because you look in the mirror and you're your dad. And you start having those feelings, right? My mortality. I am not going to be here forever. And you know, it doesn't really matter how much stuff you own, how much money you make. It doesn't matter because in the end, you're going to be leaving that behind. You know, it's, uh, I think it was Job who said, naked I came from my mother's womb, naked I shall return. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Let's turn in here. Here we go. really nice house you know do you do you have a really nice house you know I do I, I have a nice house and and it's more than I ever dreamed I would have now I'm not gonna tell you it's a mansion I'm not I'm not Matthew McConaughey <laughs> I'm coach Bob and I don't have a big giant mansion in fact these houses right here I'm sure the property value like right there on that water there is worth way more than my home and these aren't mansions but these are nice houses, and these are way more than I imagined I would have, and what I have is way more than I imagined I would have. I never dreamed that I would be riding a spider and have two motorcycles in the garage and talking to Coach Vic about picking up another one, um, where she goes, uh, you sure you need one? I'm like, no, I don't need one. She goes, so it's going to make you happy? And I'm like, no, it's not going to make me happy. It's just, I love riding. I love riding the different machines and the different experience. <laughs> but I know in the end that that motorcycle is going to tear up. And in the very end, it's going to belong to somebody else, not to me. I can't take it with me. And even if they bury it with me, <laughs> I still ain't taking it with me. So I'm going to turn around right here. But as this old outward shell continues to crumble, every day, every day we are being renewed. Now, what does that look like? You know, people often ask me, you know, is this some game that you're playing? You know, you, you're, you, there's no way you can feel that good all the time. You know, I woke up today and I sneezed. And when I did, my right hip kind of twisted, I guess, a little bit. And now my back hurts. So I can't hardly get up and down out of a chair. Now, it's not the first time I've done that. And it won't be the last either, by the way. It's going to get worse. And, and as I get older, I know that situation is not going to improve it's just going to get more and more fragile i see the humor in it honestly 
I'm fulfilled in my life. I'm happy. You know, God is renewing me daily, spiritually, emotionally, physically. He's allowing me the intelligence and the spiritual position to understand my old body and that it's okay. It's okay. You can be renewed and not run as fast as you did yesterday. You can be renewed and not be as pretty as you were a year ago. You can be renewed in all of those things because you're being renewed on the inside where it matters. Not just in the fact that we're forgiven daily, which we are, by the way, but just in the very nature that we feel new, like a new creation every day. Do you get up and you look up and you go, man, I get the, I get the thrill of going through another day start to finish. It really is quite amazing that every day when that sun comes up, a new day is here. It may sound corny, but I still get excited about that. I like seeing the sunrise. And I know there will come a time where that daily renewal, as far as on this side of eternity, will be gone. And I won't be able to see that sunrise like I do now. I won't be able to see things through the perspective and the eyes that I do right now. And I want to savor every moment. You know, I love fried chicken and ice cream. And I'm gonna tell you, I could probably eat ice cream every night and have fried chicken every night for supper and never get tired of it. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm renewed daily with that, with that unquenchable fire <laughs> to eat fried chicken and eat ice cream. Uh. Where does this stuff come from? I don't know. <laughs> why do I even go there? Anyway, <laughs> I digress. But my prayer is that you get up every morning and you are renewed, refilled, that you, like I said last week, fill her up, fill her up. Get up, read that Bible verse. I don't care if you read one verse, one sentence. Ponder that one sentence. Get on it. Feel great. You know, I want to do what God wants me to do. I want to do what I'm led to do in my life. And I don't want to just maliciously comply. I want to do it with a smile on my face and a song in my heart. And I pray today that you're singing and you're smiling just like me. <laughs> well, there you have it. Another Worship on Wheels in the books. So know this, my friends. You... Yes, you. <laughs> yes, you are loved and so am I. That is really, really great news. Now, you go change the world and I'll see you on the road real soon. But for now, I'm going to come to a complete stop so as to not get a ticket or get criticized by Safety Sallies. I have stopped. Now I am going. Oh, look at that. Will you look a lot. Now I'm going to burn some turns and go eat some chicken. Woo! Maybe even a little vanilla ice cream. You never can tell. <laughs>